A change in an Alabama law led to a victim of a violent man not being notified about his parole hearing. The parolee is now charged with killing three people in Gunnersville months after getting out of prison. Jimmy Spencer was serving a life sentence for second degree burglary out of Franklin County. His victims were notified of parole hearings until 2015 when the Justice Revisement Act took effect. And now the parole board no longer recognizes Spencer's original victim as a victim. Thanks for joining us. I'm Dan Schaefer. And I'm Demetria McClinton. Way 31's Brecken Terry joins us live from the Franklin County Courthouse with reaction from Spencer's previous victims who weren't notified about his most recent parole hearing. Brecken. Jimmy Spencer's victims from right here in Franklin County tells me there is no excuse as to why he was not notified by the parole board, even though they legally didn't have to tell him about Jimmy Spencer's 2017 parole hearing because of a change in the law. The Franklin County District Attorney from right here tells me that law needs to change. If they didn't notify the people that would know best uh, whether a person should be released from jail. A change in Alabama law meant the parole board never told Franklin County District Attorney Joey Rushing or Jimmy Spencer's original burglary victim from Franklin County about Spencer's parole hearing last November. But before the Justice Revisement Act of 2015, the board notified both men about Spencer's hearings in 2008 and 2013. In a situation like this, it was a burglary case in which uh, Mr. Spencer went into a residence and got shot. So obviously the victim was in a self-defense mode and the defendant kept advancing into his home even after, you know, confronted by the homeowner. So if that's not a evidence of violence or what Mr. Spencer was capable of, uh, nothing is. The change in 2015 said the parole board only needs to notify victims of specific crimes and second degree burglary isn't one of them. The parole board, all they have is a piece of paper as far as what, what's in front of them. We know the, the facts, the details, that sort of thing. That's why I think it's so important that they notify us anytime a person with a life sentence or an extensive sentence like that comes up for parole. Rushing says that this law needs to be changed back immediately so that victims can have their voices back. And we have called the parole board numerous times about Spencer's case, but they have yet to get back to us. We have also filed an open records request with them asking for specifics of Spencer's parole conditions. They denied our request today and said that his parole conditions are not public record. Live in Franklin County, Brecken Terry, Way 31 News.